Two teams expected to put up some fireworks tonight. We're just about set, ready to go. Warhawks in maroon and gold uniforms, Texas State. The away whites. And Cherie looking for the convoy. It does not arrive. He's stacked up, driven backwards, short of the 15. And Tyler Vitt and the Texas State offense will take over right there. Running back, Vitt will do just that. Play action for Vitt. Buys a couple of moments and has his receiver. Going from behind the sticks. Travion Webster with the tackle and a loss of a yard. Vitt. Again, spots Graham ahead at the 44. Duke Kelly lost against SMU by a touchdown, and again a week ago to UTSA. And a couple of in-state rivals. That pass will be deemed incomplete. Very good vertical target, and the ball was deflected, and Barbie thinks he got to it before he got to the ground. He's come up with some amazing catches, and this would be programs. Option look, a quick pitch to Hill. He's got speed to the edge. He goes. It'll be first down and goal for Texas State. So a gain of 13 on first down. The Bobcats, impressive. This type of guy. Hill, straight ahead. Touchdown, Texas State. And the Bobcats on their opening possession of the night. To lead off with that. And instead, you fall short by just a point. Play action, tight end has it. And the first touch, Josh Peterson. Isaiah Phillips back in the ULM backfield. Straight ahead through the A gap and he squirts down to the 20. That's another first down. Will empty out the backfield. Suits with a clean pocket towards the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. Jevin Fred brings it in for the score. And ULM an extra point away from tying this one up. Vitt straight ahead. Crosses the 35 on the tackle. That should move the sticks. Ty Shelby with the tackle. He's back in action this week and healthy. Here's Shereen, and he's brought out at the 50 after the quick catch. And on the play from midfield. Here's Vitt on the slant. Pass is caught. Haydell has it, and another first down for the Bobcats. White the stop. Bobcats with tempo. Fit towards the end zone. Far side. Caught for the touchdown for Texas State. Strouder with the coverage, and instead the Bobcats come up with their second score of the night. Strouder, the some say the best cover corner in the conference, but it's all about finishing on the ball. Row Louisiana, third and three for the Warhawks. Suits across the middle, batted down. Samuel Obiang reached up to swat that one down, and he did so successfully. That'll make it fourth down. Fence stands tall. Jared Porter. Watch this one bounce. And that was fielded and muff. You cannot advance the football on the return, or excuse me, on the muff punt. I think that's going to be a turnover, and I think the Warhawks are going to have possession here. Take another look. And Phillips is doing the right thing by calling what they usually say is Peter, 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 meaning it's a short punt, get out of the way, and then inexplicably he goes up. Actually, it's a guy before him that touches it. Not seen Josh Peterson enter the mix yet. One of the top tight ends in the country. There's Josh Johnson sent backwards after a quality gain and he lost the football. There goes Texas State. And the turnover will give it back to the Bobcats. Anthony Smith came out of there with it. It's a great job by the defender coming up and putting his hat right on the football, and the ball comes loose. Made that great hit on the football. Cherie, plus territory. A little shake and bake down to the 49. Impression of Vitt, and he gets to the right place. Vitt, nifty move. Tyler Vitt inside the 30. Brought down from behind by Austin Holly. 
First down for Texas State. Right there. After a gain of 13, Sturgis inside run. Makes a man miss, and another. Done that well in this first half. Fit with a pass, and a touchdown for Texas State. Bobcats extend their lead. Tyler Vitt scores from seven yards out. Door got there first. It's a loss of three. Suits loads one up. Pass will be caught at the 35 right at the chains. And that should move him as Juan Bluefield makes his second reception. Probably our best cover guy. Second and 11. Suits. Tunnel screen. Dropped at the 45. It'll bring up third down. In the eight gap plug in the hole in that last play. Johnson straight ahead. Lost the football. And Texas State holds on fourth down. Down. Here comes pressure for the Warhawks. There goes Vitt with an opening. Tyler Vitt picks up a first down, spins down at the 26 yard line. And Vitt flashing some speed against Tyler Vitt. Could have been a scoring play. Play action across the middle. Haydell has it. Kelly, that should put the Bobcats in field goal range on fourth down, the field goal kicker. This effort from 40 yards out on the way. Has the distance, and that kick is good, and that is an important development for Texas State. In check, arguably the best running back in the Sun Belt. Josh Peterson is yet to catch a pass. Along their punting. Across the middle, Malik Jackson. Scored his first touchdown a week ago in the plus territory now. LM. Against a four-man front. Quick toss. Chandler Whitfield has it. Makes a nice move, and that'll keep the drive going. Because of that troubled offensive line. Warhawks needed six. They gained seven. Whitfield makes his second catch. Stop at the 19-yard line. And just like that, the Warhawks in business. Whitfield matched up man-to-man. -man. Instead, the handoff. Johnson to the edge. Tackled at the five. He was sandwiched down between two defenders. It'll be first and goal. Different story so far tonight. Suits will buy some time. Pressure by Isidore. Off the back foot. It was caught. Whitfield has it. Did he cross the plane? He did for the touchdown. Three catches on that drive for ULM, all by Chandler Whitfield. Finished in the end zone. Lead is 10, Vitt back to work. Haydell has it and there he goes. Jeremiah Haydell off to the races. Can he get to the end zone? Yes, he can for the touchdown. The big play machine rolls right along. Four man front for the Bobcats and here's Suits. And a pass caught, gain of 14 and a first down. Chandler Whitfield quickly becoming Colby Suits favorite target. This is doing a good job of sorting that coverage out. Josh Johnson keeps the play alive, churning the legs inside the 15. Close to another first down for ULM. Quarterback yeah. talking. Never forget that. Out of the gun. Suits to the end zone. Incomplete. From the right hash. 28-yard effort is true. Well, the Warhawks on the board first. To start our second half, and six to play in the third quarter. Pocket for Vitt, incomplete. Contact, no whistle. And that's going to force a punt. It's Marcel Barbie was the intended target. A little jawing after the fact. 21 to 14 was the final, and a big play to start the next drive as Perry Carter. Second and long. Suits, back foot toss, pass is caught. Fred has it. Hudson will get a breather as he checks out. Phillips in the backfield. Suits with all kinds of time. The dump off is there. The first down is there. And ULM on the move after the grab by Perry Carter. Team Carter now with six catches for 62 yards. Suits, across the middle, inside the 30. That's a gain of 11 and another first down. Two teams ranked for the first time in league history. All night for Suits to throw. He'll have another first down. is isn't any extra protection. Tupo applied the pressure. Fourth down. Warhawks going to go for it. Towards the end zone and incomplete. 
Malik Jackson, the intended receiver, he was spun around about four yards deep back there. Final two quarters. Third long, conservative call, nowhere to run, Hill. Set backwards. Pushing through was Kevin Pointer, the TFL. Keep this one alive for ULM in their home opener. Suits, across the middle, Peterson has it. Needed to cross the 14-yard line, and he did so by two yards. Just yet. Approaching a minute to play. This time there's Peterson, and this time it's going to be intercepted. Picked off, and that's going to do it. Running the other way with a clear path to the end zone, numeral zero, Jaron Morris for the pick six. An emphatic ending for a Texas State road victory. After losing an Army last week, and the Warhawks back in action a week from now to try to get their first win of the season. 38 to 17, our final score, and I tell you what, we're just happy that football is back. Amen, brother. We're Amen. here to call it. Our Preach great it. crew is here to help us through it.